Hey, hey guys, it's me, Zay Lee of ZayLeeBarclay.com. Welcome to the Start, Shoot, Grow studio. I am so happy to have you here. As usual, I always say that, right? Um, today, we are actually talking about Canva. Again, you guys seem to love these tutorials that I create on Canva, and I was like, you know what? This one is huge and I think it's in beta. So what I want you to do is let me know if you have this specific tool inside of your Canva dashboard. I really wanna know, let me know down in the comments when you learn exactly what it is. So as you know, I love Canva and I am a course creator. I am a Thinkific expert. If you don't know what Thinkific is, you've gotta watch this video right here. And so you'll get to learn how I started creating online courses, what my online course journey was like and why I love creating courses inside of the Thinkific platform. So yep, Canva is an awesome tool. And so as a course creator, we tend to create presentations, right? Um, why would you create a presentation? Well, because it's a form of video content. It's a combination of visual and audio. And that is something that I absolutely love about presentations. You probably don't have to set up and get on camera, although it's something that I do recommend because video connects us in a completely different way. You know that I'm an advocate for that if you're on this channel. And so last year I had an amazing experience of teaching a special group of people how to build a course inside of Thinkific. I will be doing that again. If you want to know more about that, head down below in the description box if you're looking to start creating an online course and if you're looking to use the Thinkific platform. So I have a full on beautiful course on that. But the craziest thing is that um, one of my students, hey Tyrone, I hope you're watching this video. He could not, he didn't like that you couldn't have notes inside of Canva. So in PowerPoint, which he was used to, you can have notes in there so that when you're reading, you can always know what to say, right? And you know that I love using presentations. But one thing about presentations is that you never want to have too many words on your presentation because it kind of distracts your student and they end up reading along with you. But being able to have notes on the back end of the program that you're using is a complete game changer. I feel like I use that word so much, game changer, but <laughs> it's one of the most amazing things that Canva is now integrated into their presentation background. Let me tell you something, Canva has some amazing things coming for us. They have video content inside of Canva. I have to show you guys that. Um, they have so many amazing things that is making that platform just your one stop for everything. Anyway, let's get into the tutorial and let me know down below if you use presentations inside of your courses, if you have a course already. All right, let's get to it. All right, guys, so let's dive in. Here is something that is so cool about Canva. You guys know that I'm an advocate for using Canva for your courses because the workflow is just so much easier than let's say a PowerPoint or uh, Google Slides, you know, this is just my opinion. I prefer to use Canva because I feel like I can really make it do what I want it to do. So I'm excited to share about Canva presentations. And so this probably has been out for a while or it's probably one of those hidden features of Canva. There are a few of those that I will be sharing on the channel as we move along. But what I wanted to show you guys is just the presentation feature. So we know that you can now switch out presentations and things like that with cool transitions, cool slides, and all of this amazingness. But let me show you this. This is the presenter view. So you can definitely use standard, which is at your own pace, which is what I use when I'm presenting. So what I do is usually I have a full screen and I put on QuickTime or I record my screen with Filmora. And so I'm able to upload screen shares into my online course platform, which is Thinkific. You guys know that I am an advocate for Thinkific. I absolutely love it. So now listen to this. I'm going to get out of this full screen and what I'm going to do is head back into present. But what I'm going to do is actually go into presenter view. Now we all know, I always say, when you're creating your slides, especially for your online courses, you don't want too much text on there, right? Because then your person will be stuck between listening to what you have to say and reading what's on the slide. 
So we're able to now have our text inside of our presenter notes right here. So let's say you have extra notes about this slide so that you don't have a lot of text on it, which can be very distracting. You can put those notes in here. So I'll just show you an example. Let's say I actually want to just put this into my notes and just have this right here, a few tips for this workshop. What I'm able to do is put this into my presenter notes and save. And now when I present and I make sure I'm in the presenter view, I'm able to then, you know, see that information. So now that I pulled up here, it's telling me that um, this is the audience window. So this is the window that your audience sees. Drag it to the screen, your audience will be looking at and enter into full screen mode. So this is the audience screen, but this is my screen that I will be seeing on the back end. So if you're using a tool like Demio or Zoom, you know you can share specific screens. So you will only share that screen that popped up at first with your audience, and then you will have the presenter window, right? And so you will be able to see a timer, which is so helpful, guys. Think about sometimes when we go over webinars. This is definitely a game changer because I know I've definitely gone over in talking on webinars. Also, we can see the time. So I can see that it's 8.15 p.m., which I absolutely love. I love the idea of having time. And also you're able to reset that time or pause and then you can see your notes. Isn't this really awesome? I mean, this is a game changer. And so we know that we could have done this in PowerPoint and I believe you could do this in Google Slides too, but for me to be able to do it in Canva and share that screen with my people and I have my notes here, I can't tell you how exciting this is, seriously. So I hope that you will be using this tool Canva has some amazing things that they they kind of announce their stuff late. Um, like I find their things and then they announce it. And then I'm like, wait, I thought this was out forever. But I just wanted to share about this because this is really helpful for my course creators who are recording screencasts and uploading them into whatever platform they use. For me, like I said before, it's preferably Thinkific. All right, guys. So I hope this video was helpful to you. Let me know how you feel about these presentations inside of Canva and having your notes so that you can actually read what's going on on the back end inside of Canva as well. I look forward to seeing you again. If you have not subscribed, now is the time to do so. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and make sure you answer the question of the video that I asked you in the beginning. I look forward to connecting with you down in the comments. I will see you soon. Take care.